I also wanted to let uh, the public know that Trustee Baxter and I, we have, as uh, some of you may have uh, remembered, we started a homeless student task force for students who are facing housing instability. It is um, a side, it's a committee within the foundation um, that we take care of the short-term needs and the long-term needs. We're looking at possibilities of housing and acquiring property um, and going through that rigmarole, which is a more long-term effort. We did the um, uh, food bank that we had is going to be, uh, it's my understanding that's gonna be um, handled in PCC shortly um, and with the foundation. But we have an event on October 9th uh, between 5 to 7 p.m., which is gonna be at the college, uh, which uh, we're acknowledging the supporters of this campaign that uh, Trustee Baxter and I have initiated um, for the people that have uh, contributed uh, monetarily and then also in kind. Um, a lot of folks uh, that contributed hygiene products and um, non-perishable food so that our students are taken care of and they don't have to be worried about their Im Im immediate need. Um, and also it's an opportunity for others to learn about it and contribute um, to this cause and be able to support our students. Um, I think uh, thinking holistically, the College Promise um, takes care of that aspect as well. And um, we, sh we are certainly committed to leaving no uh, student behind. So that's one aspect of what I wanted to talk about. I also wanted to bring up um, this big deal that we have a job fair coming up in September on September 13, and I wanted to uh, recognize Superintendent Oakley for mentioning that in his report, uh, which I'm plagiarizing in a, way, in a way. It's going to be on September 13th between 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. on in the Veterans Stadium. I think it would be of value for the public and our students to come and attend. And I want to thank the district for leading the way in this regard as well. And that is all I have. President thank Baxter. You. Thank you. Yeah, and, and my, I, Don't tell was, us what no, your there, son is doing. No, there was, uh, no, there is, he just moved. Um, <laughs> I feel like there used to be a beer commercial where the person kept interrupting and coming back into it. <laughs> Trustee Deasy had mentioned about with Rose and her association, a statewide organization. Uh, you have Doug Otto who's heading up uh, the CCLC uh, for trustees. And also you have Emory Gable who's heading up the Association of Chief Business Officers as well. The reason I say that is because, and I want Trustee Z have made that comment, that is so rare that you see the impact of a college on statewide affairs. And I mentioned David Morris, who just retired to the Academic Senate president as well. Um, and then we have this individual who's moving on eventually to become the chancellor of the entire system, all at Long Beach City College. So um, I know everyone uses that phrase, uh, we're the best community college. Every trustee says that everywhere. But uh, I always like to say, well, Okay, show me your cards. And um, so that's just really, and so I just wanted, Anne Marie as well, congratulations in doing all these efforts for all these organizations. I'm Very done. Very good. You're done. I'm okay. done. I don't want to hear about the dog. I'm done. Okay, since, our, since our last meeting on July 26th, uh, from July 31st to August uh, 3rd, I attended the ACCT Leadership Conference along with Trustee Malaulu. The three days were filled with insightful information regarding the Brown Act, the role of the board, uh, the board president, student success, a role, uh, the role of, of the media, and many other topics. One of the topics that we covered was what, when somebody walks on your campus, what do they see and what do they feel? And it was really an enlightening experience, and the people in student services have not told me they're not happy with me, but yesterday I was on campus having my picture taken by um, Pat McKean, and I saw a line of students, and I came over and made some very wonderful suggestions about how we could improve that, and they were taken very, very well and uh, thoughtfully, uh, uh, considered, so I appreciate that. But it was triggered by this conference, so the moral of the story is don't send me anywhere. Okay, then on August 4th, I spoke to the journalism advisor, Pat McKean's high school journalism conference, which was held on campus. And I thought this was a great idea with several days on our campus, students from all over Southern California, high school students. And again, another great um, opportunity for outreach, recruitment, and letting people see what a wonderful campus we have and all that. And I think the 
the people who led this uh, were very, very impressed. Then on August 5th, I attended the Long Beach Boy Scouts uh, brunch at the Yacht Club, which featured America's Cup winner, Bill Koch. And uh, he is one of the richest men in the United States. And he was fascinating. The reason he was there was he, he sponsors a sailing event for Boy Scouts, and it happened to be held in Long Beach. And the reason he did this is because he had won the America's Cup in 1992. And he gave kind of a quirky message, but the thing that stuck with me more than anything was people wanted to be on his team. They wanted to win the America's Cup. He had all the money in the world to, to support that. But he didn't take people who were the best. He took the people who were the team players. Because he said, you can teach somebody how to, you know, whatever that is with the wrench or whatever that thing is, but you can't teach somebody to be a team player. And I thought that was really insightful that being a member of the team is so, so important. So take that away with you for whatever that's worth. Attended the board retreat on August uh, 10th. And then uh, last uh, Thursday, I attended the reception for the new faculty at Gladstones. And I have to tell you, I'm very, very impressed with our uh, new faculty. They're exciting. They're excited. They, I spoke to each of them as much as I could. And they're happy to be here. And I told them, I hope you're as happy as I am 46 years from the day I started in 1970. And uh, I think we, I really congratulate uh, Vice President uh, Long and, of course, Vice President uh, Delgadio, because I know you spent a lot of time in meetings and making sure everything was okay, and, of course, our superintendent president. So I, I'm very, very pleased um, uh, to uh, have just even gone and met the new faculty. So thank you very much. Then I want to encourage, and Trustee Zia, thank you for giving a commercial, because now I'm giving a different commercial. I want to encourage all the trustees to take out an ad in the Hall of Fame program. The Hall of Fame is an alumni activity. It's on October 14th. And last year, Trustee Zia took out a half page ad right here, uh, congratulating the recipients. And so I just happened to have three forms. If anyone would like to sign up, I was a luncheon friend. I don't want to get into costs, but uh, she spent more than I did. Uh, so I would like to suggest that. So anybody who would like uh, paperwork, to uh, take out an ad, I just happen to have it right here for you, um, and encourage you, obviously, to come to the event on October 14th, and then um, there's also a VIP reception on September 15th for those who take out ads, so that's why I don't want you to be left behind, uh, but uh, thank you for considering that. And then lastly, I would like to encourage those who have not completed the board self-assessment to do so. Uh, how are we coming? Uh, oh, I did mine today, just so I could say that. Okay, well, okay, hopefully they're due September 7th. So hopefully you will have the time to um, complete that. Uh, oh, the link uh, uh, has been sent. Maybe um, Secretary, um, Han, you need to send the link again. Okay, now we want to hear from the AFT bargaining president and new member of the co uh, cohort, Janae Hunt. Oh, AFT, I don't know how to read. Okay, Thomas Hamilton, sorry. I was so excited that you guys got to give your reports before the next dawn. Good evening, Board President. Board of Trustees and President uh, Oakley. First of all, it's nice to be able to get to the microphone and the sun's still up <laughs> for a change. I have two items that I'd like to bring before the uh, board. And yes, next week a new uh, academic school year will be starting. Everybody's excited about the new school year. And along with that, we also have a new budget. A little over four years ago when we had the bad crisis as far as in economics, as far as district needed money, and we had to make some cuts. Classify took some cuts as far as like in reduction of hours and layoffs and et cetera. Now, in looking at the budget for 16-17, the thing that alarms me right now is that there's an excess of $900,000 allocated for classified salaries. 
My problem is, is why is the hold up and the delay as far as bringing the people back to work, seeing that the budget has been approved and it's also been approved by this board as far as for the money allocated to hire the employees. Why is it taking so long to restore the classified staff and to bring the staff back up to the numbers? And yes, if you look at our numbers at around 425 and 430, is almost similar to what it was back in 2012 and 2010. The difference is all those employees aren't 100% in 12 months. Some of those employees are 50%, 60%, some of them are 75%, okay? I'm asking the Board of Trustees to look into this and let us know as far as what is the delay in bringing us back, knowing that you've already approved the money in the budget as far as to do so. Okay, I think it's long overdue and I'm getting a lot of questions as far as from the staff and from the classified employees because we always hear that we're so valuable and we're so needed. And if that's the case, then just show us. You have the money that's there, bring us back. Okay. Second thing I'd like to bring up, with the Board of Trustees now going paperless and we have the big screen up here giving us all the agenda items, is it possible, because I know that sometimes we have at length discussing these different items, but John Q. Public comes in, we have no idea as far as what's, what's being discussed. Is it possible? to put the information up on the screen so as it's being discussed that the general public knows exactly what it is that you guys are discussing instead of just sitting there and say, okay, we're on 7.1, 9.2, et cetera, and so on and so forth. I think it'd be helpful because if you don't come with a, uh, a computer, a tablet, or what have you, then you can't bring that up. And most of us, when we come in at night or live in the public, don't bring those items with them because back in the day, we used to stop at the counter and then you get 12 sheets of paper. And I understand saving the trees and everything else because the forest fires are taking a bunch of them out anyway. So I just appreciate it if the board could look at those two things for me. Appreciate and thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, um, is Karen not here? Okay, so now Janae Hunt, CCA bargaining president. Good evening, board, uh, President Oakley, and uh, audience, students and faculty and staff, um, and administrators, vice presidents. So I'm actually fresh from one of those forests. I spent the last few days camping, and uh, to being at La Jolla Indian Campground, that was an amazing life experience. I survived. Um, but anyway, I'm trying to get ready to transition myself for uh, next Monday's first day of class. And our e-board, and by the way, CCA is Community College Association. Um, don't get too comfortable with that acronym, because we may be changing in the near future. Um, but uh, our e-board has met a few times over the summer. Last week, also, we met with our new faculty and uh, really excited to have some more folks on board. And we're gonna be addressing College Day, our constituents, so looking forward to that. We're surveying faculty right now to uh, just get a sense of our membership, what they want from our union this year. And uh, you'll probably, Jenny, uh, or Trustee uh, Baxter and Trustee Zia, you'll hear more from us about the uh, homeless student effort. I think that this is gonna be something we, we wanna help out well, with you. you. Thank you. And uh, also, next uh, board meeting, hopefully, we will be ready to um, present to you uh, or, or ask you to sunshine, I think that's the right terminology, for our negotiations. Uh, again, we're surveying our faculty right now, and hopefully we'll have our proposals ready for you uh, at the next meeting. That's it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, if you uh, what happened to... Um, Report. I, I, I thought, uh, Trustee Kellogg, you could give a quick uh, report on our Trustee. ad hoc uh, committee. Why did I think there was such a thing? Yeah, it's 6.5. We skipped over that one. Sorry. Thank you. You want to deal with that? But just what we're doing this week. Uh, just this week, we're meeting with the uh, with uh, Vice President Gable and uh, to review the RFP that will be going out for. Uh, for responses to the search uh, firms to assist with the uh, CEO search we'll be conducting here. That, that RFP is being drafted as we speak and we'll be reviewing that uh, later this week. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, uh, future reports, opportunity request reports for future board meetings. Thanks. Trustee Zia. 
President Baxter, thank you. Um, first of all, I want to commend you for doing such a great job of running this meeting. Um, it's a testament to your leadership. Uh, it's about an hour and a half, according to Trustee Otto's uh, standards, that were pretty good with a short meeting. Um, so uh, I wanted to bring up what I brought up last time. Perhaps uh, we could look at uh, how we determine contractor responsibility um, and determining uh, the responsibility of the contractors that we do business with, construction contractors, according to the public contract code and what criteria we, had set, uh, we have set in place to make sure that the contractors that we're doing business with are um, have the financial and um, uh, experience, capacity, and fitness um, according to the public code, um, but what our measures are. So if that's a possibility that we can bring up to the board next time, I'd really appreciate that. Okay. Thank you. Well, I'll have to meet with uh, Vice President Gable and see um, what her timeline would be to come up with a report. Okay. And Alejandro has one. Can I, Alejandro first? Student Trustee Lomeli. Yeah, do you mind if at some point in the near future we get a presentation on some of the health services that we offer on campus? I've had some Did you students. say health services? Yeah, okay. if that's okay. That's under uh, Dean Kreisenga, who's sitting right out there. So let me know when you're available. Okay, and Trustee Malulu. Yes, thank you. Um, Vice President Bynum, I, I, I want to, from the bottom of my heart, apologize. I'm not in the business of surprises. Um, so... I'm not putting you on the spot, <laughs> but earlier in, in the meeting, um, somebody brought up the job fair um, happening in October. Um, September. Yes. September. September, whenever that, the job fair is. Yes, Tuesday, September 13th. And it triggered a memory. Um, you and I met a, about a few weeks ago, and I was so impressed by the work um, that you oversee with the economic um, and workforce development. And I apologize because I don't know if there is a time on the agenda at some point where you actually report to the board and to let the public know that I mean, maybe it's, you know, every whatever, November or something. But I would really like um, you to let everybody know, not, you know, what you do, um, especially with the beginning of the new school year if there's some kind of report that you do. Um, for those of you that are not familiar, in, in my transition to the board, I had an opportunity to meet with most of the vice presidents, and I was, you know, I have a, a passion for um, economic development and workforce development. That's a little bit of my background. So when uh, Vice President Bynum um, shared with me all that she does and oversees um, with the small grants and the different groups, um, is that something that you normally do? And, and maybe I don't know exactly what I'm asking you to do, but in terms of reporting. Trustee Manawulu, if I can interject, yes. we do Sorry. have a vice president, executive uh, VP Bynum uh, scheduled to do a presentation coming up because we all want to know what she does. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but seriously, uh, no, uh, she and I have been speaking about um, uh, the vision for her area and I thought it, um, as you did, it was important for the board to hear and for the public to hear uh, a lot of the great work that they're, they're doing. So we're hoping, um, working on maybe the second meeting in September, is that what we're thinking about? Or perhaps October. October. Yeah. Um, so expect it in October. And, and again, I apologize. I'm not in the business of surprises at all, but that conversation triggered that memory, and thank you. I look forward to that. Thank you. If I could just comment along those lines when... Um, Trustee Malaulu and I were in uh, Washington. One thing that um, our uh, person running the conference said, it's harder sometimes to find a good vice president than it is a president. And so I want to laud all five of the vice presidents for being outstanding. <laughs> uh, and and uh, they're absolutely stellar people, and we appreciate all you do. Thank you. Okay, uh, there are no public comments uh, off the agenda, so this meeting is adjourned until September 18th. 13th. 13th.